Torah tells us, Vayomis Yosef Cholech Adorahu. Yosef, his brothers, and that whole generation passed away. Which generation? The generation of 70 individuals who went down to Egypt with Yaakov. Now, why are this, those 70 nations, to who do they correspond to? So over there, the Torah tells us, Moshe Rabbeinu says to Klal Yisrael, why are the 70 nations, they correspond to the 70 individuals who went down to Egypt, Yaakov's family. What is the correlation of 70 versus 70? So he explains that after Odom ate of the Eitz originally Odom's soul, Neshama, was pure. He refers to, Odom was the Eitz, was the first tree. A tree bears fruit. What happens if the tree itself has some, is diseased? That disease manifests itself in the fruit. When Odom ingested that fruit, which is tovera, which is evil, that impurity manifested itself in the fruits. That's what happened. Until Yaakov, all the neshamas that were produced had were tinged with this impurity. When Yaakov was born, he says, there was an eighth tohor. There was a pure tree. Yaakov was able to achieve a level of purity that his soul, relatively speaking, everybody is, 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 is tinged by it because we all die. We're all subject to death. But in terms of the dimension of neshama, the neshama was pure. The physicality was tinged, but the neshama was pure. The neshama was not tainted by the Eitzadas. <coughs> As a result of that, the, produce, the fruit he produced, the neshamas, which came from Yaakov, his children, and the 70 individuals, these were pure souls. These souls, these 70 individuals, are the counterbalance for the 70 nations of the world. So we speak about the Jewish people are the keves, are the sheep, is the sheep among 70 wolves. The 70 wolves are the 70 nations of the world. They have the count, we are the counterbalance to them. And he cites many psukim that the, we have the ability to actually suppress them and counter them, whatever they may be. That's what, that, that was the innate representation of the shivim nefesh. And Torah makes it a point, shivim, it was 70. Because that, 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 those were the fruits of the Elon Tor, the pure tree which produced the 70. So when this generation, now what was Egypt? Egypt that was mentioned, Yecheskel, Hanovi refers to the Egyptians as Besor and Besar Chamorim. Their flesh is the flesh of donkeys. So we've mentioned many times the name of the morale of Prague. What do you mean they were donkeys? I mean, they were the height, height of civilization. So he explains that of all the 70 nations, the nation that was most devoid of spirituality were the Egyptians. Therefore, they're quantified as Chamor Chomer. They have the most material. They have the less degree of purity, of spiritu spirituality to them. And therefore, when the nation, when the 70 passed away, where did we find ourselves? The ones who were left there, we didn't have this, these luminaries, as this Farno explained, we have to contend with a location which is the most intense level of impurity in existence. Over time, they started to erode. Ultimately, it came to a point of Memteshari Tuma. The Jews themselves were so overwhelmed and so consumed and subsumed by the environment due to being slaves. The Chazal tell us, when we went through the, the, the Absuf and the angel said, Elu of the Evoros of Elu of the Evoros Zoro, why are you the, destroying the Egyptians? The Jews are no better than the Egyptians. They're the same idolaters. So Hashem answered, the Egyptians, they chose to be idolaters. That was through their own volition. We became idolaters because it was forced slavery. And a slave being dominated, dictated, and every aspect of his life is vulnerable to the influences of the master. That's why the Jews became of the Avodah Zarah. We became idolaters. So therefore, but factually, it was only through this extensive years of slavery did we fall to a level of Mem Teshari Tuma. So it didn't happen immediately. It was a gradual erosion 
and it ended with the Memte Shari Tuma, and therefore at that moment, Hashem had to take us out of Egypt, otherwise we would have gone into the spiritual Bolivia. Ernie. 